Hi guys, and in today's video, it's all about P. Moriat. Now, P. Moriat is a brand really well known for producing beautiful sounding modern saxophones. And so in this video, I really want to showcase the two main design types. So we have the System 76 here on my left, and on the right, this is the 66R. Now, with the exception of one or two models like the Libravo saxophone, most P. Moriat models actually fit into one of these two categories. And it's fair to say that each one also has many variations. So, for example, the System 76, it's currently in a DK or vintage finish here, as is this one here. But also available is the unlacquered finish, um, there's gold lacquered finishes available. And in the case of the 66R, it also comes as an influence model, as we call it, which is to say that rather than just having standard abalone shell inlays, it has nickel silver key touches. Um, they look really beautiful and quite dramatic, and they add a certain power and sort of sting to the sound. So that's the influence model. But the main reason, the main purpose for doing this video today is just to demonstrate the 76 against the 66R so that you can hear those tonal differences between the two model types because there's a, a fundamental difference in the design in terms of the, the bore dimensions. I was just uh, having a little look at this earlier on and the, the tenon join on the 66R is just slightly narrower at this point here um, compared to the System 76. And this can have a big effect on the airflow and the, the sort of the, the highs and the lows and, and the response and all, all sorts of aspects to do with the tonal production. So with this in mind, you know, perhaps when you're browsing through our website and you're seeing these two key models, the System 76 and the 66R, and you see the various descriptions and what have you, um, might be helpful to you. But perhaps what might be more helpful would just be to, to see a video like this one where you're seeing one played against the other and you can really pick out those tonal differences. Um, for my money, before I have a, a blast on these two instruments, the System 76 has um, just a little bit more of a forefrontal sound with some sort of extra brights and sort of sizzle in the sound. It kind of pushes through uh, quite a bit. It's still a big, expansive sound like you get on the 66R. I feel the 66R has a slightly um, kind of beefier overall feel to it. Um, but I, I would say overall, I mean, the Moriat sound is just a beautiful thing, right? It's, it's a lovely sound, very sort of thick layered um, overall tonality. It's very attractive to, to sax players, but there are these little differences and hopefully I'll better pick them out for you now. Thank you. 
well that was really interesting and it was kind of actually as I expected and anticipated a little bit in the sense that the System 76 which is the one I played last there um, just had a few more brights and highs in the sound and it sounded like the sound just wanted to kind of hit out a little bit more than with the 66R which for me has this slightly beefier, a little bit more of a retained sound. It's a very big sound but it doesn't punch out in the same way that the System 76 does. Um, so when I really pushed the sound and did crescendos on the System 76 you could feel the sound just sparkling a little bit more with a few more brights and sizzle on the top. Not to say that this one is a muted sound, it's, it's certainly very coloured and has lots of layers to it but I would describe it as exactly like that actually, a very layered sound, there's a lot of bass in there, a lot of beefiness and then it's got a nice balance all the way up through to the top so a very kind of consistent sound on the 66R. So I love it, That's, uh, they're really both great saxes. If I had to pick a favourite as I seem to be kind of pushing in that direction right now, I really love the sound of the 66R and actually all of its variations, you know, whether it's the unlacquered finish which gives a different variation in sound or the influence model that I mentioned earlier. For me this has a really nice balance of all the frequencies that you look for in a sound. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Hope that was informative for you guys and I'll see you on the next one.